All right. Well, yo, 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 Chris Sims, Chris Sims on button. Got a big mother effer here, okay? <laughs> we got a big tight end. Jalen Weidemeyer, right? Am I saying that right? Yep, perfect. All right, just wanted to make sure I didn't mess that up. Texas A&M tight end, okay, tremendous size. What are you, 6'5"? 6'5". 265? About, two, about 257. 257, so yes. he's cut a few pounds, so he can be a little faster mm -hmm. in the 40, yep. right? No <laughs> doubt about Went to Texas A&M. You know, it's that other school in Texas, not the University <laughs> of Texas. Uh, but, no, phenomenal career, really. Thank you. And, uh, really, you're a specimen. So, like, first off, just talk about, you know, the experience so far, being here at the Combine, what it's been like. I loved it. Um, so far, when I first – before I came here, I was a little nervous about the interviews and stuff like that. Right. But um, as I've grown, grown to know some of the scouts and uh, talk to them and just – uh, get my feet in the water. It's uh, it's been amazing, amazing yeah. experience. Good, they're good people here mm -hmm. for the most part. That's for sure. You've always been a huge NFL fan. I mean, growing mm -hmm. up, who was, your, who was your squad? Oh, it was Patriots. Patriots was the mm -hmm. squad. Okay, yep. and then so your favorite tight end? Gronk. Of course. <laughs> well, Gronk, yeah. that's that's fitting. I <laughs> yeah. mean, I literally was just showing the highlights of some of your game to one of our producers here, mm. and I was like, eh, this guy's big. He's got, you know, some of this Gronkish to yeah. him, certainly. So that's the guy you kind of model your game after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Blocking, you like blocking as much as you like catching the ball. I down do, the field? I do, yeah, and it's do. something that's needed, you right? Know, at the, especially at my position, right? Anything like about your game, you know, tight end wise, where you just go, okay, I know you've been in Jimbo Fisher, you learned a lot there, it's a mm. good system, but what about your game do you look at and you just go, oh, I gotta get better at this in the NFL? Um, I would say finishing blocks, I'm yeah. good at the point of attack, um, but I when I'm driving, I get, I get a little bit too high. I get a little bit too high. My feet will come together. So I just got to work on staying low, finishing blocks, and just keep, uh, the, legs moving. keep the legs moving. Exactly. Yeah, keep yeah. It, keep everything moving. You get you get into that little like, all right, I'm big. I'll just keep. Le I moved yeah. you a little. Now I'll just lean on yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to demolish guys in the league. I don't want to just cover them up. That, well, that's the that's the way to say it. Yeah. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. So like, you got like guys. I, I, first off, we hit Gronk. All right. Mm -hmm. So now give me a D end or an outside linebacker that you just go. You got respect for, of course, that you just go, man. I can't wait to line up across that guy and, and see what he's got. Miles, of course. Uh, Miles Garrett. Say, uh, <laughs> Duh. <laughs> uh, Vaughn. Vaughn Miller. Yeah. You know, some, just some uh, A&M guys. you, Cherry. Yeah. Picking the A&M guys. What <laughs> yeah. a kiss-ass this guy is already. Just the best guys in the league, you know. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're pretty damn good. All right. Uh, you know, Vaughn, I like your chances. Mm -hmm. Rob Blocking. He's pretty good in the run game. Yeah. Miles, I don't know, man. Yeah. I got to see it first. I got to see it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Have you got a chance to hang out with Miles Garrett at all? Um, no, I no? haven't. And hopefully I will in the league when right. I get there. Yeah. Um, I've seen Vaughn before. I've, t I've talked to Vaughn on, on a few occasions. Um, at the spring game, stuff like that. So he's yeah. a really good guy. Yeah, they're both really good guys. They mm -hmm. certainly seem like it. Um, you know, as far as this goes, the combine, you know, big guy, all that. You're working out fully tomorrow, right? You're doing yes, everything? I, sh I should be doing everything. Uh, I'm still deciding on it. You're still deciding on mm -hmm. some of it? All right, and like, you know, like number 40s, like what, what, what kind of number would please you? Not that I don't want you to put yourself out there. I know what you really want, but like, you know, what's a number that you're – with your size, I mean, mm. four seven ish. We're yeah. looking. We're you're big, feeling good. good time. Yeah. Right? That'd be a good time. You'd be good with that. I'd be good. I'd be good with four seven. What well, was? Of course, I want to push for a four six, but sure. uh, four seven would be. It wouldn't be bad. No, no. Mm. You're, you're certainly nobody to question you with how big you are at four yeah. seven. And you 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 look like you run faster than four seven on the field. <laughs> yeah. So that's the most important thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's uh What's like the combine preparation? What's been the biggest pain in the ass about it? You know, uh, what, what's that one drill or just the the day to day? You know, I would say I would yeah. say like going to camp. I never went to camps when I was in high school, right. so I never really run. I never really learned how to run the forty. I just was played football, you know. Yeah, and right. um, uh, forty something, I really had to focus on this uh, this process and coming to the combine. So the start the starts and the finishes yeah. would be the uh, number one things I really focused on. So um, we'll see how I do. You tell know? like tell like people that are listening to my podcast and stuff. Like what, what about the the the, the start? What is it that mm. makes it so difficult? I was there. I've been there with you. Yeah. That was my, you know, my kryptonite as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, what about it? Well, the, but through the, through the 20, 20 yards and through 30 yard splits, like, um, all it is, you're going to be in your running form. Uh, the start's got to be explosive. you got to gain a lot of – you, you want to get long strides, gain a lot of ground, right. and then you'll automatically just go into your um, running form. And then the last uh, 30 and 40 yards – you that's that's all strength yeah. you're gonna have to power through that and you're gonna have to stay relaxed but also power through it you know what? you don't want to tense up too much yeah right you want to be able to stay keep those muscles still relaxed mm -hmm. and rubber bandish so exactly. you're, you're exploding there all right so like give me some like, exercise like what are you what are you doing to train to do those things better i know you're practicing the actual starts but mm -hmm. like what are some like 
like lifting exercise? You've been doing like heavy power cleans, squats, things like that? Stuff get- like that, but a lot of, uh, I know definitely it would help to do a lot of little things like uh, glue ham raises, um, a lot of hamstring workouts to build up that hamstring so the 30, 40 yards would be, you know, you, you power through it easier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. All right, so you're going to do 225? You're going to do that whole thing too there? Um, I, I most likely won't do the 225. Yeah. I'll probably wait till pro day to do that. Okay, yeah, buy yourself a little more time. You got some mm. long damn arms too, yeah. so it's not as easy for you. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. All right, favorite quarterback in football. Like, who's the one guy if you just went, damn, I could go play for that team and I'm going to catch? I know you like a lot of them. Well, my favorite quarterback ever, he just left, which was depressing, uh, Tom Brady. But, um, of course, the uh, great ones, Pat Mahomes, Derek Carr, yeah. um, Stafford, uh, just great quarterbacks in the league, Lamar Jackson, stuff you, like that. Do you go deep enough in this time of the year to view, like, the team? And I know you're going to be happy with whoever you get drafted by. You're in the NFL. It's mm-hmm. awesome, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, do you go – at this point and look at teams and go oh wait like they could use me sometimes sometimes yeah Yeah. Uh, i haven't really gotten down to a team that like oh they could use me but i know sometimes uh some teams in the the league need a tight end right or need or need some help at tight end and uh that's what i play so you you feel like you're aware (laughs) of the teams that know how to utilize the tight end exactly utilize that's where you so you that's Mm -hmm. what you look at just go they know how to use that guy they know how to use that tight end they know how to yeah exactly yeah no doubt about it all right so you know for for like numbers we're gonna wear in, in the uh, NFL, you're gonna stick with the college. College, you were 85. 85. 85. You're going 85 all the I, way. I want to go 85 all the way if I can. Yeah. But like, why not be 87 like Gronk? Uh, cause I'm I want to be me. A little different. Yeah, I want to be me. You, you know, you. Right. I want to you know. Uh, I I especially used to watch uh, Chad Ochocinco growing up. Yeah. You know, and uh, he always says something like like there's three things certain in life: death taxes and 85 is always going to get open and ever since then i was i wanted number 85 that's what you wanted you mm-hmm. wanted 85 okay all right all right so you know i went first off let's have a little fun with our college because um i used to whoop your school's ass <laughs> on the regular all right <laughs> just so you know <laughs> i won my last three against you guys right mm-hmm. you guys are certainly in a different class but like you grew up in Texas. Yeah. Aren't you, like, a little disappointed that, like, you guys don't play – we don't play each other anymore? I wish we would. I wish we would play each other every year. Yeah, I wish right? it would be, like, a rivalry game that just – used to be that. Oh, it, it would be so – it would be crazy. I mean, that's crazy. Thanksgiving. The day after Thanksgiving, when I grew up, it was Texas, Texas, and A&M. And, mm-hmm. of course, those are the games I played in. Yeah. Uh, so it was really cool to be a part of. But, yeah, as a Texas kid, you got to be like, what the hell? Yeah. And especially right now because you guys are better than us. Yeah, really exactly. Yeah. Now, right? yeah. I feel like – I feel like, yeah, we would have played a great game, and I feel like it would be a great game us and everybody from every part of Texas would come to watch that game. Yeah. It would be an amazing game. Did you, you know? ever think about going there? Were you, were you close? What'd UT? You like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they didn't They didn't really – they recruited me, but they didn't offer me a scholarship. What? Yeah, I know. So I, it is what it is, honestly. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. stupid is yeah. what it is. <laughs> I mean, apparently. Yeah, they don't really utilize the, utilize the tight end that much as no, well. No, they're too not, much in the spread bull crap and exactly, all that. Exactly. So. That pisses me off. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I mean, damn, we're Texas and we can't run the ball or get a top end running back. Uh, I'll be rooting for you though, man. Yes, sir. All right, Thank good you. luck with everything. Kick some ass. All right, big tight end, Texas A and M. Not Texas, Texas A and M. Jalen Widemeyer, he's here. Good luck to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.